Hi everybody, welcome to Friday Saws. I'm Alison. This is Saw Like Dotty. Let's just get into it. I have got part one of a fabric haul for you today. I'm quite excited by it. Last week, as um, you might know, I was at Scarborough. It's a couple of years since I went into the boys there. It's quite in the town centre. Um, if boys isn't, you can't buy online from them. So this is what their logo looks like. Um, but it's quite a, a, a northern store that's what i'm going to call it in america i was thinking would it in, in america in the uk would i call it a department store not really there's like if you want something it's worth checking out boys first and it's always at a really good price but I, it's really hard to explain what sort of a store it is anyway never mind in most places except for my local one because they haven't got enough room for a cutting table they sell fabric now um, there is one at Darlington as well, and I'm going there on Friday to go to the dentist. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably going to pop in there as well. So I've already got some more fabric on up to where some fabric that I've got and possibly a bit more swag to pick up from Friday. So I'm going to round all that up in two weeks time. Okay. So I'm not going to, I know what patterns I've got in mind for these, but I'm not going to link it in at this stage because... Um, coming up, I'm hoping to get that recording and out on Sunday this week is my August sewing plans. I know. Can we believe we're talking about August sewing plans? And it might eke a little bit into September as well. Um, you know, I always, I always like to overshoot for what I'm going to make. Um, I've had, I know this is going off track altogether, but I've, I went for my eye follow up yesterday and there's been some improvement in my vision. So he's not wanting to jump in and put the piggyback lenses in front of both eyes at the minute. Um, so we've agreed to look at things again at the end of September. He thinks he might only need to do one in one eye because all of my near vision has improved enough that I don't need glasses for that, which is great. Um, six weeks post-op and it's just a little bit of focus for the distance. So I, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to get done in August because I wasn't sure if I was going to have surgery again but I'm, I know I'm clear till the end of September at least anyway um, and I'll probably have to go for another eye test because like you said yesterday he doesn't know what lens to put back in me now but hey ho all is good. First fabric. Now I went in one day, bought four lots of fabric, which I'm going to show you. And then Carl said, you'll be going back tomorrow when we went to bed. And I went, no, 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 I've bought, like, I've got more than enough fabric there. And then, as you do when you're awake during the night, started scrolling my pattern files and instructions in my phone and thought, oh, some of these need four metres. So most most of the time I buy three metres and I do try to get wide fabric because most dress patterns, for me, it's dresses, I can get out of three metres. But some of the ones that I want to make that I've not made yet need around four. And because these were such amazing value, I just thought, Do you know what, go back and get another metre or so of these and then you'll have enough to make those rather than then have to order things in four metres. Does that make sense? And I know I've got all of this. I've had a bit of a sort out. But some of that, I'm not going to go into sort my stash. I might do that on another day. There's a couple of things that I'm not going to de-stash. I'm going to take to my sewing socials. Um, some things that other people might use or might use as a toile. Or I might take out the shelf and use as a toile. But I just thought, yeah, there's things I know I want to make. So let's get the four metres. So my first fabric I'm going to show you was bought when I went back. Because I'd missed a pile. So this is a viscose. And it was £4.50 a metre. It's not branded. I don't know what brand it is at all. There's nothing on the selvage or anything. But I just think it's very me. The colours are very me. I'm going to hold it up like that. So it's a mid blue. Not a royal blue, I would say. Maybe an Air Force blue base. Obviously, it's got a mixture of blues and reds and things. A couple of people mentioned about like this sort of colour, how I really suit it. I do know where my colours are on the colour wheel. I'm quite good at that. Maybe one of these... Well, I don't know if one of these misses the mark, but not bothered. Um, so, yeah, and I do know what I'm going to make out of it. it. This one's the only one that's been washed so far. It was beautiful yesterday, so I had this out on the line with some others. And um, 
yeah check back in on sunday for some plans for this one i'm not even going to attempt to fold that back up because there's four meters of it i'll fold it back up when i finish chatting to you guys okay the next one is did you hear how my voice changed then so that one doesn't particularly have a name it was just a visco so this one is a lady McElroy fabric or McElroy however you pronounce it and it's called floral clusters and it is still available on the lady McElroy website it's a lawn um and it's 15.95 a meter and they were selling it for 10 pounds a meter I know and they did have lots of other lawns but they weren't my colourways or my prints so you might have seen this before Um, I don't tend to browse on Lady McElroy I tend to see their fabrics at shows or see ones that other people do Um, but I mean I so initially I bought three and a half meters of this and when I went back in I bought another meter so that cost me 45 pounds somebody do the maths that would have been 30 60 maybe 75 pounds and for me, that would be a special occasion dress. So this is it here. It's a pale blue background. I mean, no, no. It's it's similar colour palette, but I think this could be spring, summer. But I, I tended to start to think about winter stuff again. And then I thought, you know what? I just wear the same stuff, but with the jumper over. So I really love this. It needs to go in the wash. And I have got a plan for that. What do you think of this one? I feel like when I'm... When I'm in my Slim and World group and I'm telling them about things that are coming out, I get them to ooh and oh, so I can judge whether they like it or not. I wish we were interactive so I could get you feeling for that. So you might need to kind of comment, comment down below. But yeah, I love that. Really happy with the price of that for a lawn. It's beautifully soft and it hasn't even touched the washing machine yet. So four and a half metres of that one I've got. Now this one is a... Fabrics of Creativity, which again is a really good brand. Let me just check this one on my little list because I think I've got the price right, but I want to make sure. Yeah, so this is a block print viscose. They had it in two colourways. Um, I think the other one was more greens where I went for this. I think it was the same base, um, like blacks and whites, but with more greens and things on it where this one's pinks and purples. I'm going to show you it, don't worry. So this one again was £4.50 a metre. It's viscose. On the whole, apart from the lawn, I've been on a hunt for more viscose, but nice quality viscose. A couple of things that I've got on the shelf are like viscose chalice from Rainbow Fabrics, but they absolutely crease like you know what. And it's okay for a toile, but I'm not into that for a garment anymore. And they were probably about £5 a metre. So this is a viscose. And this was the one that I was saying, I'm not sure if it's fully in my colour palette but I actually think it is I think it's because it's got this like mustard in it as well that it's thrown me off a little bit so I got three meters of this I'm trying to find a bit that's got the purple in to show you the purpley pink I'll hold it up it's easier for you to say it it's got these like cube bits in it and then just swirls and some flowers so where it's black and white I think that is the same on the the green colorway um and then maybe with the pinks and purples and it's I can't remember what the other one was I saw the other one and I liked it and then I saw this one and I knew this was more me so I know exactly what I'm going to use this for this isn't going to be a August September make I don't think um but I wanted to show you that so I got three meters initially at four pound fifty a meter I mean what th £13.50 for a three metre dress and it the you know it's a good brand the fabric's really nice and um, so I was very very happy with that but bearing in mind what I said earlier about the four metres I did pick up another metre the next day because I thought £4.50 can't be robbed really for that can you so there we go I might as well just not fold these up because they all need to go in the wash now I might have just peed my pants a little bit when I saw the next one and um, you know we're all friends here I can have that sort of conversation with you and because I had my finger on the button for this fabric so many times it was in stock at Flirters it was in stock at Rainbow Fabrics it was in stock at 
Saw Me Sunshine, I think, and Jenny Stitches. And I was like, eh. and I knew a lot of people bought it, but it is completely me. And I think the thing that stopped me pressing the button was because I knew a lot of people had bought it. And sometimes I'm a little bit like, oh, everybody's going to have the same sort of thing on. But I just think, oh, get over yourself, Alison. You like it. So I think when, it, when I saw it on sale, it ranged. Some places had maybe a discount code on. So at the time, you could probably get it from between £7 a metre and I think £9 a metre. It's a viscose. And this is why I nearly paid my pants, because not only did I see it, but it was £4.50 a metre. You want to see it now, don't you? Yeah. As soon as you see it, you, oh, I just flashed, just flashed my fabric. You're going to know exactly what it is. And it is this animal print um this goes which is a bit like leopard and then it goes into a bit of stripey bit across the fabric you've seen it qu quite a bit it's been all over the place um early spring summer so i bought five meters of this <laughs> thought happy days if i make a dress that needs three i've got two meters left that i can make some wide leg pants with it's four pound fifty a meter I, I, I knew at that point I had things that needed like four metres or 4.2 metres of fabric so it was a bit of a number it just goes on and on and on and on yay the end can you tell how excited <laughs> like genuinely I'm so excited about this fabric you know when you think well I do believe that things in life happen for a reason sometimes when you're in in the middle of a pile of poo <laughs> as we are in our life at the moment. You, you you have to tell yourself that, but you don't wholly believe it. But with this fabric, I do believe I was meant not to buy it so that I bought it then. I don't know, I could have bought three metres for £21 somewhere and instead I bought five metres for 20, I don't know, £23 something, but I don't care. Happy days, over the moon with it. Put that on the pile. So that's fabric number four. And fabric number five, when I looked at this on the roll, because by once I found that Lady McElroy fabric, and I've stumbled across them before, but they had absolutely loads, and they had loads of reduced tags on the fabric as well. When I got that other one, I sort of started to hunt down the tags. Um, and there was a few of the prints in, like, Cotton Poplin, not, not Lady McElroy, but other things, but I'm trying to steer away from Cotton Poplin because I've got some more stiffer fabrics on the shelf. So I'm rambling. So I like this fabric. Then when she unrolled it to cut it out, I thought, oh, I'm not sure. But then when I got back to the room and I looked at it again, I thought, yeah, I do like it. And I know I've just said I don't really do seasonal things, but I definitely think this is going to be, colourway wise something that I'll be making up maybe autumn time for the winter. So this is again a Lady McElroy fabric. It is still for sale on the website. It's called Alexandra Virginie. Um, and this is the cerise colourway in it. With the floral clusters, that's the red and the blue colour colourway in that lawn. This is the cerise colourway in this. Again, this is £15.95 on the uh, website. And it is £7 a metre in Boys Store. Now, it won't be available in all the stores. They all have different things in. Um, but hello, how good a price was that? So that is this one. Let me hold it up. I don't know if it's upside down, not sure. It's very soft. I do think this one might have a bit of a tendency to crease. I'm okay with that. Looks good. Now, I did get another metre of this and that's absolutely fine. I do know what I think I'm going to make with this um, and it's not a dress. I know, um, but that might change by the time I actually make it. But all of these, the, the fabrics I don't really want sitting on my stash. Um, I want to get into some new patterns. And so, yeah, there's going to be a bit of fabric action with these over the next few months. I know I sometimes think, and in my August plans, I have got some things cut out that I've made previously, but sometimes you just reach a point where you're like, I just want to make some new styles. I did one last week and there's a, at least two or three other ones that I'm ready to, what's that? Embrace. So yeah, that's quite a floaty. I think for what I've got in mind for it, it'll do very, very well indeed. What do you think? So... Let's have a bit of a running order. Number five, 
do a bit of a vote for your favourites in the comment box below or let me know if you've got any of these or let me know if you go to boys or if you're gonna go to boys obviously the fabric shops are available um number four tell me your faves number three which is this one number two which is the lawn and <laughs> drown, just drown look drowning in a pile of fabric what a way to go and number one tell us what you like tell us what you think i should make with them i don't mind i mean i have got some plans and i'm not particularly buying any new patterns so she um but <laughs> you know you know how it goes um yeah so productivity is about to go up my daughter's been back for two weeks took her to the airport yesterday will i ever not cry when she leaves no is the answer um i just absolutely love her to bits she's off off exploring the world on a yacht again and yeah production time needs to go up well not production time that sounds awful productivity needs to increase so it is going to increase today because i'm off to sawtoon i've got a project cut out in that which is actually one of my August makes but I cut it out last week so I knew I needed to be organized for today update on the finger is it's feeling a bit better I took the orange color off after the weekend and put clear on with the sticker so I can keep an eye on it it's like bruised under it's just a bit traumatized that's it but it's definitely improving okay I'm gonna go hope you're good let me know what you're up to let me know if you bought any more fabric you know I like a bit of crack in the comments so drop them in down below happy sewing guys and I'll be back on Sunday fingers crossed for Sunday with my August sewing plans. Bye for now.